Hey, I'm Elena Rizek and I'm here on the Lower East Side in front of what used to be an empty storefront and is now Deluxe Flux, an art arcade. It's an exhibit by a street art collective called Fail in collaboration with another street artist, Bast. It is an impromptu gallery and an interactive experience. Deluxe Flux is essentially an interactive art arcade. You know, we've kind of been examining how can street art live on in other ways and be a pop-up show that we can make happen on our own terms outside of the gallery system. Because you're a street artist, you're not used to having your own personal images out in public. And that's kind of why we're not seeing you fully right now. We've always kind of enjoyed the idea that the artwork is what people would see. Are you still out there stenciling illegally? A little here, a little there. <laughs> Definitely we not. dabble from time to time. With their artwork appearing on the streets of Brooklyn, London, and Berlin, Fail and Bast have become recognizable brands in the global street art scene. For Deluxe Flux, which was first shown in London, they collaborated with a digital studio and a musician to translate their images into interactive games. But there's no winning and losing in this arcade, there's only looking and playing. You know, they kind of start as like a very sculptural blank canvas piece. Every side of it is considered and painted and treated. The fact that they integrated their images in real video games where you actually get to manipulate it, that gives this whole experience depth. What is it that you like about street art? Because to me it's accessible. Not only it's accessible because I can afford it, but I, I get the symbols, I get the imagery, I get what's going on. It moves me a lot more than most traditional art. We were talking about art shows and walking in and standing there and drinking beer and wine and looking at art and how uh, it would be fun just to do something that was loose again and uh, have people come in that are engaged with it. And anyone can walk into this. Right side better anyway. I mean, these are games, but they're also art, and so, you know, I, I don't look at it just as like playing a game. I'm interested in what the artists are trying to do, and I think people got to look at it critically. You know, we really wanted something that uh, was here and was gone, you know. It's something you're walking by one day, very similar to our work on the street. It's just a moment in time, and then that's that. Thank <laughs> you.